Welcome back to Angela and Friends live on Sky One HD. Our cups of teas have been refreshed. We've got enough caffeine in us to keep us going until half past three. Now joining me on my sofa of love today are stage and screen star Jill Halfpenny, telepresenter Matt Bell and top actress Lisa Faulkner. And still with us are Karen Woodward and Sarah Dallin, best and better known as Banana Rama. We're very starstruck in the studio yeah. today. Yes. Uh, still to come in the next half hour, we'll be getting a little bit of glamour when we take a closer look at eyebrows with newbie hands. And we're also going to be asking, what makes your blood boil? You've still got time to email or text yours in. Uh, but first up, Matt, how has a bikini made the front of the uh, of the newspapers? Well, actually, just before I go on, can I just say I feel like a pig in muck at the moment? <laughs> surrounded by five stunners. <laughs> all look ravishing. Anyway, no. Um, so, on the front cover of The Sun today, Primark. Everyone's up in arms about their padded bra, sorry, padded bikini top. That, um, <clears throat> that they've basically released for seven-year-old girls. And personally, my take on it, well, a lot of people have been saying, that are we over-sexualising our children too early? Are they becoming more adult quicker than they used to? But my personal take on, is, on it is no. It's all about the kind of the cultural lens through which we view them. So if a child's just playing dress-up, I don't really see the harm of it personally. Um, just because we deem it inappropriate, if they're just playing dress-up and they're enjoying it and they're just aspiring to be adults, I don't personally see the problem. And actually, I think quite the opposite of what a lot of people are saying, which is that everyone's growing up too quickly, is I think we're taking longer to grow up. And the, the term teenager didn't even come around till like the 60s or something like that. Uh, and since basically people have had much more sort of money to spend and much more leisure time, the time in which you grow up has expanded and expanded and expanded. I'm almost 30 and I still feel practically like a teenager, do you know what I mean? Like before, in years gone by, people would have had to have had families and, and stuff by then. I don't think it is children growing up too much. And I'm pretty sure I'm about to come up against the yeah. world. Can you feel it? Literally, yeah, I can. I'm actually getting hotter just from There's the rage a, that's a boiling towards me. The difference between playing uh, uh, dress up and putting on your mum's high heels and putting on your mum's yeah. dress. Mm. There's a lot of difference between that and trying to make a seven-year-old have lumps and bumps and curves that a seven-year-old should not have. Well, aren't they just aspirational? Aren't they just looking at their, their mummies and going, story, I want to look like you? In the shops for kids to dress up, because that's a whole different thing. You go to a toy department, they're there to actually wear on the beach or whatever, mm -hmm. and the kids see all these people in Heat magazine and they try to aspire to that when they're really tiny, because they're exposed mm. to but so much. I don't much. think they're using it, they're doing it in a sexual context, they're just doing it in an aspirational, like, oh, look no, at no, all no, the grown-up no, ladies. Well, mother would give them a padded bra, yeah. padded bikini why, top. Why um, aspire to having boobs at seven? Because we're know. applying the yeah, sexual connotations not. of it onto them, rather than well, they're no. not taking but it they, at that. They, they copy, I mean, if you look at the sort of what we're talking about, the sort of girls around now, the difference between the way we were and the girls around now, they learn all those routines. They're all completely sexual and yeah. they want to wear tiny sort of clothes and loads of makeup and long hair. And, and actually do the sort of sexual movements, which I, I've seen little girls doing it, and I find it horrifying. It I mean, it maybe horrifying. they don't know what it is yet, but it's... But it's, we do, yeah, yes. and I think we have a responsibility to not let our kids go down that route. Mm -hmm. I mean, having said that, my sister bought a padded bra for her daughter, who's 11, and didn't even... It's a spotted bra. Didn't realise that it was... A padded yeah. bra because yeah. they were just a, it was just a pretty bra and sh there was suddenly all this sort of furore about padded bras and and actually you know sexualizing the children mm. and she went oh my god I didn't even realize I bought it because it was pretty and mm. you know she's she's not got big boobs my sister so she always wears padded bras and she hadn't thought about it she well she took them out off took them out of her drawers straight away and was really embarrassed about it well do, do we think this is a for all because actually uh, the, the, the store in question has actually now taken them off the shelves in all of their stores and oh. and because it's been on the front of all the newspapers yeah. and so on and they've said that they didn't realize it would cause such a, a reaction is it an overreaction? Are we all? I totally think I, it's a storm yeah. in a teacup. I think everyone always jumps on this bandwagon of like, everyone's so paranoid no, no, that there's no, a peanut no, butter. No, 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 it's not a storm in a teacup. It, you know, it's, the stores shouldn't, they shouldn't make clothes like that. The no. cut of children's clothes now just mirror and, and the adults' yeah. clothes. Mm -hmm. yeah. when, when I was a little girl, you couldn't get clothes cut like that. Mm. If you went for a bikini, it was like what you would call a tankini now, or it had frills on it, or it was just a, a pretty colour, it was fun. You know, I, I, I don't want my child wearing clothes that are cut like adults. So is it not up to the parents then to moderate? Yeah. Yeah. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. absolutely. Yeah. 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 Okay, do you think that, that frilly tankini thing was... Do you think that's inappropriate? No, it's not because that, that that's about being 
pretty and all little girls want to be pretty. I wouldn't want a little girl. You know, the cut of the halter neck bikini that we're talking about, it's very, very low. Yeah. But I guarantee you, someone from, say, the 50s who saw one of those tankinis would see that as a kind of, like, step forward but and isn't that, what? like, absolutely terrible? Do you know what? I'd no. love to ask you this question when you have children and maybe if you have a daughter because I think it might change your mind because I think my husband's completely changed since he's had a little girl suddenly he's like she's not going out the house until yeah. she's 35 she's never ever going to marry you know, all of this and so you might change oh, your mind oh he means it it's Quite not possibly. a joke I'm not sure now my sister's had a baby and she's got this hormonal switch that's clicked in her head and she's an entirely different person now. Um, we've got a Facebook comment here this is from Jennifer Baxendale who says there are two issues now the first is the padded swimsuit and the second is the fact that the son has put it on their front page both send the same message. That's very interesting. That's having mm. a go at the sun there, isn't it? Um, and just saying that it shouldn't necessarily be there for everyone to, to publicise it even more. I think it's sensationalising the issue. It's not. I don't think it should be an issue. If we all I make it an issue, it then is, it becomes so one. Well, it should be one. You know, children are growing up too fast, and they are all getting eyelashes put on them and so on. And I think it does need to be. It needs to be stopped. It needs to be seen as being an issue, so so that parents realise it's wrong. Yeah. Uh, we've got a text here from Karen from Mowbray as well, who says we think that it is worse to see kids naked on a beach or pool no matter what age, rather padded bikinis than nothing. Oh, Ooh, oh no, Karen, no. What oh. do we think about that? Would we rather have oh. children in padded bikinis or with nothing on? I it's... find it quite offensive, that. What, Nate? What, nudity? No, offensive that she, she finds it uncomfortable to see yeah. children being in their natural state, mm. running around <laughs> in, in, in what? Just because, you know, I mean, when you take your child out of a nappy and they're running around on a beach, what, that, that's, that's embarrassing? Why? Mm. That's yeah. natural. Yeah, well, yeah. I, I, that, I think yeah. because it's been so publicised, you know, that... The, the sort of factors of people downloading kiddie stuff off the internet, and mm. I think that's why it's such an issue. Mm. Yeah. Being having your children sort of naked in public, you you really don't know what yeah. other people yeah. might yeah. be. Well, might be perving on them. Yeah. We want to yeah. we want to know what you think about that. Do you know what do you think about the difference between the naked and and the wearing of clothes when it comes to children? Thank you so much um, Thank you. Thank you. for coming in. Good luck with the new single. Thank I'm quickly going to so ask you what makes your blood boil because we're going to be talking about it a bit bad later. Man, bad manners. manners. Bad yeah. manners. Yes. Mm. Not the group. I was going to say the group. <laughs> 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 no, you know, if you sort of let someone out on a and particularly driving, and, and they don't London. thank you for it. Oh, yes, that they don't. really yeah. drives yeah. me insane. What, how do you feel if like there's three lanes on a motorway and one of them's closing and, oh, and someone no. comes on the outside and jumps oh, in? I always oh, do that. Yeah. Yeah. Me too! <laughs> <laughs> yes, there's, there's a difference between being like that. That. And you're sort of an aggressive driver and holding exactly. your own yeah. and you know, being courteous as That's a it. driver and That's someone it. just sort of driving off. Perfect, thank yeah. you. It's going to be a so nightmare now. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much. All right, they are... Hello, newbie. Hello. We're talking eyebrows, aren't we? we absolutely <laughs> are. Sorry, I'm just so excited by the fact that Banana Rama also jump into queues <laughs> on the motorway. That has made my day, week and well, show. I am the one fuming at the back of the queue, saying they're never going to get past me. <laughs> I'm the sad, grumpy one. OK, then.